So, folks, is Evil from Pandaria going to be the name of the next Hearthstone expansion? And uh, is Monk going to be a class coming to Hearthstone in the near future? Well, those are two questions we're going to attempt to explore in this video. And uh, there are some clues pointing towards both, but also some reasons to doubt the speculation here that kicked off with the Reddit post you're seeing behind me. Whoops, next expansion name leaked. Uh, with Shaw Illidan, a skin recently added to Hearthstone, it says obtained by purchasing the Evil from Pandaria bundle. That might mean that the expansion is called Evil from Pandaria. Now, I think it's more likely that the bundle is just called Evil from Pandaria, but it might still be pointing to a general Pandaria theme being set up for the future. This is one of the you know major World of Warcraft expansions. Blizzard has talked about it in various AMAs and stuff like, yeah, of course we'd like to go to Pandaria at some point. So is this skin and a bunch of others recently added finally the indication that we're on our way to Pandaria? On top of that, we also got an indication that Monk might be coming to Hearthstone, which uh, in combination with Pandaria and Monks, those are absolutely super connected. If you if you don't know, uh, the Mists of Pandaria World of Warcraft expansion is when the new class Monks were introduced. Monks has been discussed as one of the possible classes for Hearthstone alongside Death Knight or perhaps a new class. And uh, if you got Pandaria stuff happening and you got Monk stuff happening, boy, it sure smells like Pandaria. And uh, this also Reddit post kicked off some more speculation. Seems like Monk is actually coming. The new Druid skin, Zwen, has a voice line in the files for starting against a Monk. Usually his opening line is, strength comes in many forms. But against a Monk, it's, ours is a glorious destiny. So uh, they're already including triggers here for playing against a Monk. Obviously, that could just be future-proofing. We've got this... Pandaria themed guy. He's pretty connected to monks. And sure enough, let's just make sure that even if five years down the road we add monks, we have this covered. But then, you know, does that need to be added into the game already? Maybe that's just something they keep on file in the Blizzard world, but don't actually put into Hearthstone. Maybe it slipped in. Maybe it's an indication monk is coming sooner rather than later. There are a few possible conclusions there, but it is nice if you get a voice actor in, make sure they record enough stuff. You don't have to bring them back in for one voice line, even if it's three or four years down the road, that can be a real pain. So you might just cover your bases and future-proof yourself. So we can actually take a closer look at this when uh, portrait, and God knows I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Forgive me if it's incredibly wrong. Uh, but this dude's one of the Celestials uh, from Pandaria, and... Uh, He's hanging out on Kunlai Summit, which is on Pandaria, and he's purchased through the Sacred Celestials bundle. And uh, interestingly enough, he's a druid skin. We're in druid, right? This is not a monk skin. You might associate this one uh, with monks. You might expect it to be a cool monk alternative skin. So if they were making monk and if it were coming soon, why would this be a druid skin? Why wouldn't you save this one for, um, you know monks themselves yes of course he's a tiger dude which uh you know druids transform into animals i get it i see why it fits for druid but if monk were on the way would, would you waste it right that might be an opportunity lost now on top of that when you look at the sacred celestials bundle on battle.net this indicates that this is purely a Lunar New Year bundle. This and Black Ox Rexar. Black Ox Rexar is a reference to the Black Ox Celestial as well, by the way. Uh, these seem to be uh, referencing Lunar New Year. And we've had Lunar New Year celebration portraits in the past. There's like the Guan Yu, Uther, and Zhao Chen, Valera, and there was a handful of those, I think four in total. This might just be filling in the gaps on the other classes to have these like Lunar New Year themed and, you know, pseudo Pandaria themed uh, bundle set or portrait set. Now, it's interesting that this is all called Lunar New Year instead of Lunar Festival, which as far as I can tell is the Warcraft way of talking about Lunar New Year. So this is talking about the real world Lunar New Year, but it's connected to Pandaria themed skins, which I mean, obviously Pandaria is inspired by Chinese culture in many ways, but there is still a little bit of a gap there to explain. So is it more than just mere coincidence or is that connection solid enough to explain this one? Now those aren't where the skins actually end. There are still others uh, that might be a part of Lunar New Year celebrations or might point towards even more Pandaria connections. We already mentioned Black Ox Rexar, which is a reference to the Black Ox 
Celestial, who has a name I can't remember at the moment. Uh, but again, Pandaria themed. There's also the Red Crane Jaina, which references the Red Crane Celestial Chiji. And uh, clearly, again, connected to Celestials and Pandaria. This one's also referencing the Snake and Crane Bundle, which again, you know, that's clearly not going to be the name of the expansion, but all connects. For Shaman, we also have the Snake and Crane Bundle, the Jade Serpent Thrall, again referencing Yulon, another Celestial and Pandaria. And then finally is Mogushan Gul'dan, a uh, reference to Mogushan hanging out in Pandaria, the big statue dudes. Uh, we all, we've had Mogushans in Hearthstone for a while. And then also Mogushan Gul'dan, referencing uh, Mogushan Vaults and all the Mogu dude hanging out uh, over on Pandaria. So it's interesting, right? We have the like celestial connected portraits, and then we have Mogushan Gul'dan and the Shaw Illidan, which are both referencing some of the sort of fights or bosses or bad dudes on Pandaria, but aren't specifically celestial related. Now, I would argue that Shaw Illidan and uh, Mogushan Gul'dan in particular don't seem particularly Lunar New Year themed, right? Uh, they seem more about just like evil panda stuff, like evil from Pandaria would suggest. Now, again, I mean, there are like visual cues and references that do kind of tie all this together, but it's still a soft connection. This is way more panda related than Lunar New Year related, especially in the case of these two skins. So for these portraits that lean like 100% into Pandaria, is that an indication that it's coming or maybe even a counter indication? In other words, like they'd be saving these skins for the release of Pandaria as opposed to putting them out early and teasing us. Maybe that means Pandaria is actually even farther away. If we look at comments from Ixar about a year ago, or I mean a little, little less than a year ago, back in April of 2021, uh, he says, you know, I'd love to do Pandaria. Names a bunch of famous panda characters. Uh, we've always held off because what if we want to do Monk someday? But it's been so long now that we might just do it. No plans as of yet, though, super ellipses. So, I mean, clearly there's some wishful thinking here. There's kind of some tease. We might just do it, but says it's not quite in the works yet. And since Hearthstone works about a year ahead for expansion cycles or sometimes even more, that would be an indication that we're not ready for Pandaria yet or kind of would have already been in the works at the time of this tweet. And um, unless we assume this is just a misdirection, then pandas wouldn't be here now. We also have this tweet from Ixar on October 1st, so just a few months ago. He says a bigger than normal expansion is slated for late next year. So my thoughts are if we're going to get a new class, as has been teased a fair bit, it would actually be at the end of 2022 not at rotation in the upcoming set, which, you know, if Pandaria is coming and all these skins are pointing to that, then I would expect, uh, you know, it would be right around the corner, not towards the end of the year. So I think it's actually more likely we're going to get Death Knight at the end of the year. Ixar pulled the Twitter world and Death Knight was chosen as the most popular class, as I recall, for a new class. So I think that's more likely coming in late 2022 than Pandaria and Monk is coming now. So what's my takeaway, I guess? I don't think the next expansion is going to be evil from Pandaria. I don't actually even think it's going to be a Pandaria-themed expansion. I think that is coming at some point, but they'd be saving a lot of these cool themes and skins and artwork for that point. They'd be waiting, not releasing them early, not putting them in the game now. So I don't think we're getting Pandaria anytime soon. I also don't think we're getting Monk anytime soon. I think the voice line was just about future proofing and making sure they had that recorded for somewhere down the road. Now that said, I hope I'm wrong. This is like the coolest theme. I would die to see this in the game. I think we need more pandas. A lot of this stuff would be awesome. Imagine how cool these celestials would be as like big, awesome legendaries, kind of like the old gods. That's something I want in Hearthstone. So please let me be wrong. <laughs> I really, really want this, but I'm curious what you guys think. Is Pandaria going to be the next set? Is it going to be called Evil from Pandaria? Are we going to get monks? I want to hear all your baseless speculation and crazy theories in the comments below. I greatly look forward to it. Uh, that said, thanks so much as always for watching, and until next time, game on.